Oh, so today has been a real roller coaster of emotions. I had just a normal uh, out of bounds video going up today, and it's currently four o'clock. And CDPR just dropped their big fat live stream. Update 2.1 is absolutely a thing. And initially, I kind of took this to be just like, you know, bug fixes, maybe ironing out some balancing issues. I'm working from home today, so I went and watched the stream for a little bit, and whole. Holy fuck. I, I know this might be a, a little bit rushed and might not be as kind of polished as usual, but I have very limited time to get this out and get my thoughts out. Essentially 2.1 for Cyberpunk 2077 releasing on the 5th of December, the same day as the GTA 6 trailer, can I say, uh, or December the 6th, I don't know, my mind is absolutely in pieces, is quite possibly one of the most influential updates for Cyberpunk to date. Let me just go through this big fat list of things which are going to be added and just kind of, you know, gather myself before I end up choking or pooing my pants. First thing which CDPR came out and announced, a working metro system. Uh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I'm absolutely tunged. I, I don't have a fucking clue what is going on at the moment. But here we have a direct footage from CDPR themselves that NCAR is going to be in update 2.1. This is not just your kind of run-of-the-mill mod style update, you know, where you, you do a little teleport and you're in this awkwardly lit 3D model. No, this is like a full functioning train system. You unlock it after Compeki Plaza. You, uh, there's five different lines. There's stations which apparently have been overhauled. Uh, you go up to these metal detectors and like before, you can either fast travel uh, before the Compeki heist or after the Compeki heist. You can uh, you get this call from NCAR and you can actually fucking use trains in this game. So you hop on trains and there is a full three-dimensional environment. There's a there's an actual interior of an NCAR train that you can get up, you can fucking walk around it. There's an NPC that comes up to you trying to sell you something or trying to give you a ticket. You can tell him to, to beat it or you can beat him off. Look at this place and it's absolutely goddamn glorious. Regardless, the point still stands is that three years on from release, nearly, nearly three years on from this game's release, NCAR is actually being added to the game uh, for free in the, in just a post-launch update. I know that this is probably one of the worst videos you've seen on YouTube for, for Cyberpunk news or whatever. I apologise, but I'm very much against the clock here and my brain is has been turned upside down. Uh, never in my wildest dreams did I ever imagine to watch a Cyberpunk dev video and they come out and say, yeah, you remember NCAR? Yeah, it's in the game. Coming out in four days. What the fuck? That's going to be ridiculous. Uh, I've spent three years covering NCAR and uh, being extremely obsessed and autistic with this huge cut feature. To see it actually be put into the game is, is going to blow my little tiny ape brain. So I, I'm lost for words. Uh, moving on to some other bits and bobs because otherwise I'll just beat off NCAR for like 20 minutes. Uh, we can now hang out with romantic characters. You know, you can finally take Pan Am bowling. Go play darts and do some snooker. Uh, I don't actually know if you can do that, but, you know, it's hinted at a hangout. You can probably do some kind of social interaction. All those horny bastards on Cyberpunk subreddit will be absolutely rock solid in their pants. So I'm happy for them. Uh, you know, it doesn't bother me all that much, but immersion is uh, a great thing to have, especially in video games. There's also a mobile radio. So this is like, you know, the radio stations. Uh, but you can now have it in your back pocket like a little Walkman, like a pair of AirPods. So you could walk around on foot and uh, and listen to music. So that's pretty cool. And uh, again, just like one of your kind of quality of life things, which makes a great deal of sense. We also have uh, five new motorbikes and also a new Porsche or Porsche, however you say it. Cyberpunks still have this brand deal with Porsche. So uh, aside from the 911, they're adding some other vehicle. I don't know anything about cars, but it's a new Porsche, Porsche, whatever you want to call it. Motorbikes in themselves have been overhauled, so you can now do wheelies, you can do flips, you can 
throw knives from your motorbike. Just like kind of leading on from the car combat that was added with 2.0. It's nice to see this and hopefully NPCs will drive around on them as well. Replayable car races and some new rewards as well. So this is just like a little bit of side content uh, for people that like driving and racing. This is absolutely fucking perfect for you. Big one coming up now. Gangs will now react to your choices and send hit squads after you if you go against them in gigs slash quests. Dare I say, this is a bit of dynamic gameplay in Cyberpunk 2077. I hope this has kind of opened the door for a little bit more dynamic gameplay. So, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty big, pretty big. CDPR have also redone and finished some previously unfinished roads and highways that lacked NPCs. You, you remember that giant highway that goes through Night City near Japantown? which is just kind of blocked off on either side of the road. Yeah, well, for some reason, CDPR obviously have too much spare time because not only have they added NCART, they've also added an unfinished road. Uh, these guys must be so incredibly committed to making Cyberpunk great if they're doing shit like this. I refuse to believe that this game is on life support. No, it can't be. If they're doing shit like adding NCART, adding roads to the game which were unfinished, man, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a second goddamn DLC. Car chases have been worked into old gigs to make them far more engaging. So anytime you had an objective in an old base game gig that involved, you know, getting away from something or whatever, then there'll be a car chase, which was something added with 2.0. So that's pretty cool. There's new accessibility settings and hard customization. Things like, uh, you know, you can change the color of things. You can turn off some kind of distortion effects. Little things to help your eyes and your brain. And uh, there's even more that hasn't been announced, supposedly. Uh, they even said themselves that they don't want to spoil a load of what's coming with NCART, so, man, um, I'm baffled, I'm baffed at the, at the sound of this, I think I might cry. Cheers, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get a nice tall glass of scotch and I'm gonna edit this and, and bring this out for you right now, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna love you and leave you, thank you so much and, uh, stay tuned because I, I think I might actually explode with the amount of content that this is gonna give us, so, thank you. Thank you, thank you, see you soon.